let's make it real together. Hi y'all, welcome back to Brow Tub B-School, a channel where we focus on growing your brow biz. I'm Alex, I am the girl, the artist, the educator behind Brow Tub B-School and this YouTube channel. If you like what you see here today, please like and subscribe. I am working on growing this channel, getting the word out there so I can make more videos like these for y'all. If you want to help me grow even more, take a screenshot of this video and share it to your social. Okay, so let's get down to the video. Today, I want to walk you through how I make my reels for Instagram for my brow business. Reels don't have to be hard. They don't have to be complicated, especially if you start with a plan of what you want to create and how you're going to do it. These steps that I share today are for Instagram specifically, but they can be adjusted to make TikToks, to make Facebook business reels, to make YouTube shorts, or you can just use the content that you use for reels and just shift it to repurpose it on these platforms. If you know me, I'm all about repurposing. So let's get into it. I've divided into three parts. Idea, creative, create. I'm gonna walk you through each one of these steps. So the next time you make a reel, it's gonna be super easy. You can follow each one of these steps. By the end of part one, we are going to shift gears and I'm going to show you what I'm doing on my actual phone to create these reels. So let's go. Part one. Step one of part one is decide what you want to create. Whatever it is, you need to decide what you want to create first and then choose a song to go with it. This is especially important if you're creating a reel where you are lip syncing or dancing to a specific song. Obviously, you'll need to choose that Be sure song. to double check that the song is available on Instagram or whatever platform you choose to post it on. If you have a business account and you don't see any hit music in your music library, I have a hack for you. Check out this YouTube short on how to get around that having a business account and still getting hit music for your reels and your story. Step number two is to actually record. Sing, dance, act it out, record that set of brows that you want to share, or record whatever it is you're going to be showcasing in your reel. If I want to record myself lip syncing a part of a song, which I do all the time, and I want to use a filter, I will actually record that part of my reel right in Instagram and then I will hit the download or the save button in the top corner and save that to my camera roll. I will also play the song in the background using a separate device while I'm recording. That way I can get the actual lip sync down perfectly and then the song will actually be in the background of the video, which will make it easier to line it up with the song that you actually want to use on Instagram. And then, don't worry, I'll show you how to do this after, you can actually remove the background song and only have the song that you chose from your Instagram music library. Step three, edit your reel all together. Using the InShot app, which is a free app, and the app that I use to create all my reels and actually these YouTube videos. Create a new video in InShot and load all the clips that you want to use for that one reel. This is where you can edit each clip and add transitions between each of them. So let's roll into InShot now and see how it's done. Workflow for making a reel for my brow studio. If you want to use a filter, record that part in Instagram. Play your chosen song using another device. Choose the hands-free option by hitting the arrow and hands-free so you don't have to hold down the record button. Record your reel, your action, your song lyrics to the correct part of the song. Review your recording and then save that recording by hitting the three dots in the top right-hand corner and hitting save. Load all the clips you'd like to use for your reel into the app InShot. This is a free app. This is where you can edit your clips, shorten them if needed, and add transitions. Review your clips to make sure they are correct and in the correct order, and then you can start to edit. Trim clips where needed by dragging the clip shorter. Add transitions where needed by hitting the N and choosing whichever transition you like. Review your reel and when you're satisfied, hit the arrow in the top right hand corner to save it to your camera roll. Load your now made reel into Instagram by opening the app, clicking the plus sign, hitting reels, and then uploading the video 
from your camera roll. Here you can make any edits to the length of the reel if you need. When you're ready, hit add and then hit preview and this will show you what your reel looks like. This is where you can add the music, the exact song that you want to play. Type in the artist and song name to find the song that you like. Here you can adjust the part of the song so that it lines up with what you were lip syncing or dancing to. You can then turn off the camera audio, which is the song you use to record and just use the Instagram song. Use the type button or the smiley face button to add words to your reel or to add GIFs to your reel. By clicking on the words or GIF at the bottom of the screen, you can adjust how long they are on the screen for and in what order. When you're satisfied with the video part of your reel, you can type out a caption. Be sure to add hashtags. Choose a cover for your reel by sliding the bottom part to find which part you'd like to have as your cover. You can then slide it to fit your profile grid as a square. You can also choose to upload a cover from your camera roll if you prefer to do it that way and still slide it to fit your profile grid. Just like posts, you can also tag other accounts in your reel if you like, just type them in and also add a location. So this is for my studio in Calgary, so I'll choose Calgary, Alberta. Part three and step nine. If you're not ready to post your reel yet, you can save it to drafts on Instagram. I do this all of the time because I like to batch create my content. Please note, this is super important. If you log out of your Instagram account, any draft of reels will be deleted. To be safe as a backup plan, it is a really good practice to download your reels to your camera roll. Unfortunately, when you do this, the reel will download without audio but this is way better than having to start from scratch. If for some reason you get logged out of your account and lose all your drafts, all you will have to do is just load this already created reel back into Instagram and then add the music and put it to the right part of the song instead of having to start all over and recreate it from scratch. So that's it, the three parts to creating a reel. The more you create and the more you use InShot and the reel section of Instagram, the easier it'll get, the more fun it'll get, the less silly you'll feel. Are you satisfied? Do you want a bonus hack? How do I come up with my reel ideas? So I'm pretty obsessed with music and actually knowing lyrics to songs it's kind of a hidden talent of mine so when i'm driving to the studio or really driving anywhere i listen to music i sing along always and i try to find clever lines that stand out to me that i can use in creating a reel that can relate back to browse that can be funny and i will then since i have voice to text i will text myself the line or the song while I'm driving so that I don't forget it when I arrive wherever I'm going. And then when I get there or when I have a minute, I'll go through any of the ideas that I texted myself and make a list to batch create the next time I'm making reels. So if you like this video and you're gonna use these steps to help streamline you making reels the next time you're gonna create some content, please give me a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this, more Instagram tips and tricks, more beauty business tips and tricks, please subscribe now. I put out new videos every second Wednesday.